Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to have four arms? Well I have, and that's why today I'm playing the Jujutsu Kaisen mod in Minecraft as Sukuna. So without further ado, make sure to like, subscribe, and nah I'd win. I started off the playthrough teetering between Sukuna's abilities and Gojo's, but I had just played Terraria as Gojo, so I decided I wanted to play Sukuna for this one. I tried out Dismantle on a bunch of Cursed Spirits and found that it had a huge range. <laughs> My, I'm dead. Oh hi. Yay, now we're on to regular Minecraft stuff like getting wood, building a house, and getting fame? What? As I was exploring the city I spawned right next to, I found a black sword cursed weapon, and I also found a cool bathroom. As I explored, I found a Stevenson screen, which is a weird part of the mod, and basically they just give you free stuff, and I happened to get uh, one of the best weapons in the game. I then killed this cursed spirit and got fame 3. Miss Broom over here was actually super hard to deal with because she flew around at the speed of sound. Get out of the air. I had been hearing a lot of noises in the background and I know I'm not schizophrenic, so I checked under the city and found this massive congregation of cursed spirits and sorcerers. Not long after I saw my first domain expansion. Why is Mogaraga here? This disgusting worm thing I killed got me a reverse cursed energy. While I was exploring the city again, I found this piece of paper that raises your grade and I wasn't recording, so I ended up just going back to a safe area and using it there. I have two questions. Why is this chick naked and why is she so damn strong? There's a lot of streakers in this mod, but who cares about that because I finally killed the dumb worm. After I did a ton more schmurdering, I became a grade 2 sorcerer. I'm grade 2! W. I mastered simple domain, which is a lot more useful later on, and I also got stuck in this room by this stupid pteranodon that wouldn't stop attacking me. I don't know what killed it, but it was probably the weight of my massive balls on the universe. Oh, and I also finally became a semi-grade 1. I got... I got Fuga. I got Fuga! Skadoosh! It didn't do anything. There was no reason for this grasshopper guy to be so fast. Let me in! Fuck. I can't. I kind of feel bad for this, but I did kill Panda. Oh, 82. Ooh. In this next clip, there's a few things you can notice, like where's Waldo? There's the insect guy fighting Itadori in the background, which will come up a little bit later. And then there's a random car way in the background, and also Sukuna just kind of hanging out. How nice of Mr. Pacey's to make me a grade 1 sorcerer. You guys remember how Itadori was fighting that weird insect guy with the finger in his chest earlier? Apparently Itadori won because he left Sukuna's finger on the ground. No way. And because I have that finger, I'm now able to use Malevolent Shrine. Yeah, no, it totally just murdered everything in the area. And not even like 10 minutes later, I got another finger. Oh, another finger! <gasps> Give me! I just one-shot him! I just one-shot him! How much damage do I do? Yo, Megami, why are you attacking me with a billion rabbits, dude? And here we go, our first big fight. We're gonna go ahead and fight Utah. Yeah, it was pretty anticlimactic. Uh, Malevolent Shrine just did most of the work.
After messing up Utah, I went around and did some exploring. Here's one of two little skirmishes I had with Dagon, who is one of my favorite characters in Jujutsu Kaisen because he looks like Cthulhu. Yeah, take it, Dagon. Did I get Dagon? I then one shot Hanami because they were distracted. Here we go, the strongest piece of armor in the mod sunglasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't fit at all. Oh, dude. At this point, I had fought and beaten multiple special grades, and after you beat a few special grades, you're supposed to be a special grade yourself, but I never got that advanced band. I also wasn't getting fame anymore, so I just assumed my mod was broken. So I spawned in this piece of paper that allowed me to become a special grade. Oh, and don't get the wrong idea. I'm strong, but uh, I'm not that strong. Huh? What? What? No, Gojo, Gojo, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. I can't, I, uh, I use my simple domain. This entire playthrough, I found a bunch of random stuff in the desert, including the best weapon in the entire game, Playful Cloud. Malevolent Shrine carries me in a lot of fights, and the fight with Suguru is no different. And you're gonna tank it and die. Holy, that does damage. I'm only an anime watcher, so I don't know what this domain expansion is, but it's hilarious. While three special grades were fighting, I was able to sneak in a kill on Dagon, which allowed me to get his wings. Oh, that's Dagon. I just killed him. His wings? Can I fly now? I don't know if this version of Gojo took like 10 times the recommended amount of melatonin for a regular person, but I was actually able to beat him. I just killed Gojo! I just killed Gojo! I tried to fight Maharaga like three times, but I just couldn't kill him. He adapted to everything I threw at him before I could end up killing him with those things. I gave up on fighting Maharaga, but I didn't give up on one-shotting Yuji. Get Fugood. Ha, you guys thought I forgot about Jogo. Why would I forget about him? He only picks fights with the strongest characters in the series, and he thinks he's gonna win. Get him. Get Jogo. Get Jogo. I got you. I killed Jogo! I also got blown into a fight with Mahito, but apparently his stand is Sukuna, so I just lose that. I did not know Yuki was this strong because I've only seen the anime, but damn.
After getting slaughtered by a lot of the powerful characters, I was kind of sick of it, so I went around and collected an absurd amount of Tsukuna fingers so I could actually become strong. You know, I think it's kind of poetic that the only ore I mine in the mod is a diamond, and it's only one, so it's beautiful. So beautiful. For the finale, I wanted to fight Sukuna and Gojo in their strongest version, so I went around looking for like an hour, and I couldn't find any of them, so I just spawned them in. Sukuna is stupidly strong, but Gojo is terrifying. Yeah, I'm not good enough at this game to beat either of these guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next week.